Hi and welcome back to episode 12 of the 89 Classic Mini Restoration. Sorry it's not been a video for a week, I've been a bit flat out with um, a few other projects we're on with at the moment. There is another car coming to the channel, there is a secret project which will be revealed. We have to sort of release the videos after the deadline for the project's been done so that's coming soon and that is a very cool thing to see. Uh, it's I don't think anyone else has seen one. I've never seen one. So it's an absolute privilege to be working on it. So that will be coming very soon. So just wanted to apologize for not having a video, a video out for about a week or 10 days now. Just been absolutely flat out, like 17 hour days. So with, with, with my daily job and, and cracking on with this. That will be revealed soon, like I said. On with the 89, I managed to get a few minutes tonight in between doing that other project. Um, mate Sam and Tony, uh, they've been over. And basically we've gone for the fact that we're gonna line the rear subframe up the front subframe. We're taking loads of measurements off, too many measurements maybe, but I think we're there with it. So I'll spin the camera around in a minute and you'll see that the front subframe is bolted in and the measurements we've taken now, we've done from like corner to corner, both ways, we've gone straight. We've, yeah, it, it completely lines up. It's, it's pretty much, it's as good as it's gonna get so and I'm, I'm quite confident to start welding it now so it's been a bit of a i've not wanted to touch the welding side of it yet just because I, I wanted it to be dead square because there's a lot of money in these panels i mean everyone knows how my heritage floor costs you know the rear subframe and stuff like that it just i wanted it right and the end of the day the car needs to drive straight i'm quite confident now that it's going to do that so it's now a case of just going right, get the welder out. And between doing this other project that we're doing at the moment, between other stuff going on, I'm gonna come out every few few evenings I can and basically get some tacks on it, start welding it, get tacks in each corners, and go from there. So I'll spin you around. This is a very, very quick video, just to sort of touch base and just show you where we're at with the, with the 89. So, but basically, once this floor's welded in, it's a case of flipping the carpet around, back end, double check the doors, the car's completely braced, so I don't think I'm gonna have any issues there. Fingers crossed. And the front end. I make it sound really simple, but it's not. There's just a lot of money spending panels, a lot of time fettling. But I really, really hope having this full bottom end in the car is just gonna transform it. So, yeah. My other half, as obviously it's her car, so we're doing it, and just seeing it like this looks better. It, just seeing it with solid metal looks better. So when the fact it's gonna be welded in soon, it's gonna be great. Right, so you can see there's the front subframe. It's fully bolted in. It all lines up fine along there. We've taken measurements from there, across, side to side, down the center. I, I don't think we could take many more measurements, to be honest. I think, I think we're there with it. Loads and loads of dust is floating about because I won't show you it, but it is a project just sticking out there. There's the cover. That's to come, so stay tuned, guys. Um, obviously I'm going to get it all fully welded in the floor, then I've got that. This is just my reference for the original fuel hole holes because we've got to get rid of the MPI hole there. So you can see I've used straps to get it tight and yeah, so these are allowing, I'll loosen them off. But they go in perfectly in the holes. you got the four holes in there. And then all of this, I'm going to use some tech screws. We're going to get that all back, pulled nice and tight, and then we're going to go with it. And then this can come off and be prepped and painted. Obviously the rear stop frame down there is brand new so yeah we're getting there with it can't wait to start welding there'll be videos to come when we do start welding and yeah looking forward to it right so that's a really quick update i just wanted to touch base with all you guys and apologize for being a week late with another video there is videos in the pipeline there i would say there's probably about five sat there waiting to be uh, released but we can't the project we're on with now if we release them and word got out, it would ruin what's going on. It all come true, so stay tuned. But for now, I will crack on with the 89 and I'll try and do as much as I possibly can video-wise on that. And there's a review coming on our R50 Mini um, through the process of doing that. So yeah, please stay tuned, guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, there's loads and loads and loads of stuff coming up on it. If you want to get some stickers, on our Facebook page, there's some stickers. A lot of people grabbed some stickers off me at IMM and on Royal Shuff, seen all the photos coming through of you guys sticking to your cars. And yeah, please give this video a like and hopefully there can be some thumbs ups because we're gonna get some welding done. 
Stay safe, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.